Hello again YouTube, Mad Dog here. Welcome back to my channel. Um, this video, hopefully just a quick one for you all, is part two of series one in my little mini series of um, bushcraft kit on a budget. Um, so I've previously explained, I'm going through um, the five C's um, of bushcraft. Um, many people have many, excuse me, many opinions on this, but I think the five fundaments do stand true, which obviously are cutting um, cover, uh, combustion, cordage and container. <laughs> um, so I'm going through them in that order. Uh, first one being cutting. So part one of series one uh, of cutting. Um, I've previously covered a small folding wood saw which costs four pounds. <laughs> um, so this video we move on to the knife. Obviously one of if not the most piece of um, kit important kit to carry um, talking bushcraft at the moment or wild camping not necessarily survival a bit of both if you like but basically I want these little mini series to cover for, um, the subject of noobs if you like without being rude to anybody people that have never done anything really or explored the outdoors <coughs> or had a go at bushcraft um, as we call it these days uh, and just showing these people that you don't have to cost you know all your life savings you don't have to be massively expensive just to throw a few items together that you will need um, and some items that you hopefully won't need into a rucksack or a bag head out into the wilderness and enjoy a bit of free nature without like I say costing you fortune so I've digressed um, there we go this is my little offering for a budget bushcraft knife it's the Hortifus craftsman knife <clears throat> not actually marketed or aimed at bushcraft uh, people or survivalists it, it comes under you know tools utilitarian tools so there's the back of the uh, pick up in this terrible lighting little label there I've brought this from toolstation.com online um, it's a small obviously it's got a hazard um, orange handle there and a plastic uh, sheath little thumb ramp there little belt loop <coughs> dead basic but as you can see it's a good size nice nice grippy handle it's not um, rubberized but it's not that solid slippy plastic if that makes sense it has got a nice texturous grip to it it's a carbon steel blade I think the blade is about three and a half inches something like that maybe four <coughs> Um, I'm not sure what the spine thickness is. I don't know, a couple of mil, I'm guessing. But it is carbon steel. It has a Scandi grind, and it has a very, very minimal secondary bevel. This, in my opinion, the 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 grind on this is actually better than the OK4 because the secondary bevel on that knife has a it's it's more profound. This one is pretty much a Scandi grind, which, in my opinion, is a lot better. I'm not sure about how far the tang goes into the the scales, the handle. But as you can see, hazard orange, which I personally like. If I drop this thing in the woods, I'm going to find it, or I have a better chance of finding it. Um, <clears throat> little boat, uh, belt carry case there, and let's just see. Will it pass the paper test? <laughs> oh yes. I've not done anything to this. This has literally arrived today but it's not absolutely you know frightening sharp but it's sharp enough as you can see for everyday use absolutely fine here we go again another crazy bold patch hopefully yep shaving hair off my arm no problem at all so plenty plenty sharp enough for everyday bushcraft stroke survival tasks not a problem <clears throat> so let's cut to the chase price over in the UK English sterling pounds three pounds fifty that's three pounds fifty pretty much the same price again as a pint of beer and you're on your way okay it's I'm not going to lie or make it more than it is it's not the best quality bushcraft knife that you could choose to carry but that's not what the series is about it's get getting started finding your way three pounds fifty that's good to go that'll do you some good service no doubt 
okay, I had to pay a bit of shipping on it, but if you're buying kit as a parcel, minimise the shipping cost, why not? Like I say, it is carbon steel, so it should be relatively easy to sharpen. Out the box, a really nice 90 degree spine, finished quite well, so it will throw, as you can see, sparks off a ferrocerium rod, no problem at all. So, <clears throat> you don't have to spend 400 quid on a knife to get started in bushcraft. So I rest my case with that one a little bit. <laughs> so I'm not going to go into all different genres of cutting and axes and, you know, push-pull saws, all the rest of it, wire saws. Um, I'm sticking to my personal two favourite basics, the folding saw and a knife. So that will conclude series one, just these two parts. <clears throat> Obviously I'm going to continue on, um, obviously with cover, some sort of cheap and cheerful cover that does work um, for series two. So again, thank you all very, very much for watching. It's well appreciated. Um, I hope you all have a fantastic Easter. Stay safe out there. Enjoy yourselves and I'll see you all soon. Mad Dog signing off. Yeah!